Now we'll take a, take a quick look at the AMD's A4 uh, Micro 6400T processor. So this uh, processor is basically AMD's uh, attempt to capture the low end of the uh, notebooks and the tablet market and it's based upon the Puma plus architecture uh, that's called uh, Mullins APU this, this is the code name the Mullins APU that's the code name and Mullins and Bima they have the same architecture the Bima being for the uh, for the notebooks and the Mullins being for the compact NAND notebooks and the tablets. It's an ultra low power processor with uh, APU TDP rating as low as 4.5 watts. Uh, but before we take a look at what this TDP is giving you, let's take a look at its uh, clock frequency, the CPU. It's a quad core, 1 gigahertz base clock and 1.6 gigahertz turbo clock <coughs> with these four clocks your multi-core performance is going to be as good for as uh, any of the entry-level notebooks you should not feel any lag in computing power when you are looking for performance so <coughs> that is about the processor uh, some more details it's a uh, 28 nanometer manufacturing that's used for this processor as 2 MB of uh, L2 cache and it comes with a BGA package. It's not socketable. Obviously, when you are targeting something for notebooks or um, small uh, for the tablets, you are going to have a BGA processor and you cannot have a socketed um, processor. The graphics it's a, um, it's a Radeon R3 series, it's clocked at 300 megahertz. Now, in terms of performance, you can expect it to be better than or around AMD's A4 5000 processor. But you should note that AMD is able to uh, bring that performance even while keeping very low processing power at 4.5 watts. We should expect a substantially good battery life. Uh, CPU is one part, and AMD is known for its uh, graphics and the graphics performance we expect it to be of the close to IV bridge series of processors which means that you are very good at display high resolution display or even 4k but if you are looking for playing the games the newer games they require more graphics processing power and you may feel a lag of it but that still is good enough for you know, you should be able to play some of the games in their low settings and so so on so expect some very low cost notebook based upon this processor and also some of the tablets coming and in this with this processor. Thanks for taking a look at that. We will have more descriptions of it <coughs> so you can read in the comment section for more details. Thanks for taking a look.